Reading Rocket. Disney Strange World Adventure Awaits. Adapted by Natasha Bouchard and illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Jaeger Clade is the bravest explorer in Avalonia. He wants to be the first person to explore beyond the mountains. Jaeger's son is named Searcher. He is distracted by a plant. He would rather be a farmer than an explorer. Searcher is not like Jaeger. He is not strong and fearless. Searcher does not want to be an explorer. Jaeger is angry and disappointed. He leaves Searcher behind and continues his quest. Jaeger never returns. Years later, Searcher farms glowing plants called Pando. Pando powers the entire city. Searcher wants his son to take over the farm one day. Searcher's son is named Ethan. Ethan is growing up and wants his own life away from the farm. Searcher embarrasses Ethan in front of his crush, Diazzo. The leader of Avalonia arrives. Searcher must join her on a mission to discover why the Pando is dying. Ethan wants to help, but Searcher tells him to stay on the farm. Searcher says goodbye and leaves for the mission. To Searcher's surprise, Ethan sneaks onto the airship. Ethan's mom, Meridian, follows in a plane. Now the whole family is part of the mission. Suddenly, flying creatures attack their ship. The ship swerves. Searcher falls off the deck. Searcher is lost in a strange world. It is a beautiful place. A little round creature steals Searcher's handkerchief and runs off. A hairy creature appears. It is Jaeger in disguise. He is still on his journey after all these years. Searcher cannot believe that his father is alive. In the meantime, Ethan leaves the ship to find his dad. He meets the creature that stole Searcher's handkerchief. Ethan names it Splat. Just then, Dangerous creatures called Reapers find Ethan. Searcher and Jaeger save him. They try to escape, but they are trapped. Meridian rescues the group just in time. When they return to the airship, more Reapers appear. Jaeger and Searcher aim Pando pods at the creatures. The pods shock the Reapers. After working together, Jaeger and Searcher begin to understand each other. They are different, but they both want to be good dads. Meanwhile, Meridian teaches Ethan to fly the airship. Ethan realizes that he loves to explore. He wants to discover more of this strange world. The crew sees the Reapers destroying the Pando roots. The crew smashes Pando pods into dust and sprays it at the Reapers. Ethan does not want to hurt the creatures. Searcher says it is a farmer's job to kill pests, but Ethan does not want to be a farmer. Ethan runs away and Searcher follows him. They end up flying in front of a giant eye. Avalonia is part of a living creature. They realize that the Reapers are protecting the land. Pando is destroying it. Searcher and Ethan warn the crew that Pando is dangerous. The crew does not believe them. Ethan and Meridian take charge of the ship. Searcher and Jaeger dig deep into the ground so that the Reapers can get inside the Pando roots. The Pando is finally destroyed but a bolt of energy knocks Searcher to the ground. Meridian finds her family and helps Searcher. Suddenly, little creatures begin to heal the land. Before returning home, Searcher helps his dad fulfill his dream. They see the beautiful ocean beyond the mountains. 
A while later, Ethan introduces Diazzo and his friends to Splat. Thanks to the Clades, Avalonia and the Strange World are safe once more. Thanks for listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe for regular uploads. If you have a favorite book you'd like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, friends!